G'day, Livia Regano with tonight's weather. Showers will contract to the tropics over the next two days and clear the state completely by Thursday as Queensland braces for a week of clear but bitterly cold weather. The overnight rain band brought 44 millimetres to Florence Vale. Dawson Range had 43 mils. Springshaw Creek, these are all well inland, 31 mils. Emerald had 20 mils. And Jambin further east had 15 millimetres. Temperatures today were more or less average, though last night was warmer due to cloud. In Rocky, the top today was 24. Let's start with a satellite loop. Uh, there was quite a lot of cloud overnight and there's still some persisting. It brought a decent amount of rain through central and southeast Queensland, then later through the southern Capricornia. Most of it's moving north now. We've got at least another day of showers in the tropics before the weather clears the state completely and contracts up to Cape York. On today's chart, the main bringer of weather today has been this trough. It's the dotted line that crosses the Fraser Coast and into the Tasman Sea. Ahead of it, the winds are still mild and it's a very moist air mass. Behind it, you can see the drier southwesterly coming. On tomorrow's chart, a new high establishes itself over the bite. It'll stay there for days, bringing a blast of very cold Antarctic air and shooting it all the way up into the tropics eventually by Thursday. Now the latest from the Weather Bureau, the boating forecast for Capricornia waters. Southeast winds just 10 to 15 knots tomorrow, but then we've got 15 to 20 knots southerlies pushing through on both Wednesday and Thursday. Tomorrow morning kicks off with low tide, and the high tide later in the day won't be especially noteworthy owing to the imminent half moon. Just a gentle tidal swing. Capricornia district forecast, fine tomorrow though, partly cloudy. Gladstone just 22 degrees. Rockhampton still warm tonight, 16, but only 22 tomorrow. Biloela and Yapoon 21. Central Highlands and Caulfields, fine though, partly cloudy. Emerald 12 tonight, 22 tomorrow for Claremont as well, and more about 24. Looking ahead for Rockhampton, Wednesday onwards we'll see an extended period of deep winter lasting well into the weekend. Days will be sunny but bitterly cold, with tops barely reaching 20 degrees. This is a repeat question, but it's worth answering again since you keep asking. Why are westerlies a winter thing and not a summer thing? Well, in some of the sunshines directly over northern Australia, producing a giant heat convection cell with hot air rising above the tropics and sinking over the southern ocean. Pressure builds up under the sinking air, creating those big rotating highs that drive southeast winds onto our coastline. In winter, the sun shifts north and the highs tag along. North Queensland still gets the southeast wind, but southern areas are now exposed to westerly winds emerging from below the high, dry as a chip because they've come straight off the land. That's about all for tonight, folks. I'll catch you soon. And now it's back to the team. You're wonderful, Luke. Put on your mate. Thank you very much. Nice having your company, folks. And don't forget, anything you'd like to watch again, catch up on our 7 Plus app or our page. 7news.com.au We'll see you tomorrow night. Good night.